Hey bitches, welcome to Wednesdays or Wednesday. I'm sorry that this is on a Thursday because um, yesterday I woke up at like fucking three o'clock. This week is 10 things and I will be making the video 10 things that I'm obsessed with right now. Number one. So number one is kind of because Louise is in Australia, as you know. Um, and so I kind of wanted to like have a look at what, like, what's going on there and stuff like that. So I started watching some Australian TV shows. So I remembered H2O Just Have Water, Mortified, and Round the Twist from when I was young. Um, those all like, like everyone watched those. And then I realized recently there are so many more and they are amazing. Okay, so you've got, you've got Lightning Point, which is about two aliens who come to Earth and they're and their spaceship crashes or it like breaks down or something and they have to like try and get a signal back to like their home planet Lumina um, but um, they also just like get boyfriends and stuff it's just it's weird but it's so good um, <laughs> H2O just have water I mean I don't even have to talk about that it's just about three girls who like I don't know they I can't really remember, remember what happens that's not really one that I've been watching recently because the acting is just terrible. Um, Mako Mermaids, that is one I'm addicted to. That one is three mermaids, they're in the moon pool and then this guy just falls out of the sky into the moon pool and they're like, what the fuck? And then he turns into a merman and then they have to try and take his powers away. <laughs> I sound like such a loser, but you should watch it, it's awesome. So yeah, that's, that's one of my addictions, addictions, this isn't an addiction video, that's one of my obsessions, that's number one, Australian TV. Number two is Iceland. Okay, now not the place Iceland, but like the shop. Now I don't know if you have it like in America or, or anywhere else to be honest, um, but Iceland is literally a uh, shopping, it's like a supermarket where everything is frozen, like pretty much everything is frozen, but then at the back they have like everything else. Call me Kerry Katona because I love Iceland. Kerry Katona, Kerry Katona, Kerry Katona. It's amazing because you can, they have everything, everything. Um, I've discovered new foods shopping there. Everything is like one pound. It's brilliant. Um, yeah, so that's my Iceland. <laughs> is it even recording? Okay, good. That's rude. Number three um, is Queen of the Teerling. Um, Queen of the Teerling is a book that I'm reading at the moment. An untested young princess must claim her throne, learn to become a queen, and combat a malevolent sorceress in an epic battle between light and darkness in this spectacular debut. Okay, like seriously, just, just those three lines sound absolutely brilliant. Um, the reason that I decided to read this is because Emma Watson, like, she recommended it and she's also going to be starring in the film when it comes out. The reason that I absolutely love this book is because it's the perfect balance of descriptiveness and inform informativeness? Information? Informa... Description? The perfect balance of description and information. A fantasy which has so much history, which has so much backstory, um, so many like important and well-rounded characters that, that like, ugh, I can't even, <laughs> like my brain is just like blah, blah, blah. Um, they're gonna make a film soon with Emma Watson in it, so I recommend you read it now if you like, if you're one of those people that's like, I read the book before I read the film. Number four. Sign me, don't you to fucking sign me. <sighs> okay, um, Georgie, Georgie's the best. Uh, I've loved being with her for the past four weeks, she's amazing. I'll put a picture of her looking beautiful right here, I'm sorry, okay, bye. <laughs> Number five. Can you say something? What? Casey's been looking for that glass. Has she? She keeps saying, does anyone see my love glass? Number five is Rain. Okay, Rain, I discovered probably like a week ago. About a week ago. No, I'm not gonna do that, no, no. Delete, 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 delete. I'm not bringing that back. Um, <laughs> like I could, no one watches this. It starts off with the real story, which is um, that Mary Queen of Scots, she, um, she went to a convent um, to like be raised and um, and then she went to um, the French court to marry Francis the future king so that she could be the Queen of France and the Queen of Scotland and they would ha like have an alliance which is how most marriages work those days but it like it's so it's almost like Gossip Girl in the sense that like 
everyone sleeps together all the time and there's so much like gossip and oh my god it's, it's amazing but literally like the cast are all hot as fuck Sean Teal from Skins is in it I recommend it so hard like watch it watch it watch it number six Mamrie Hart she is amazing um, I say amazing a lot I need to think of new words to describe things she's, she's perfect I mean she's beautiful She's talented. She's an amazing writer. I need to stop saying amazing. Okay. I'm gonna pinch myself every time I say amazing from now on. I have been obsessed with Mamie Hart for ages. I mean, I discovered her off of a Grace Helbig video, and then I realized that she wrote Camp Dakota, which was the film they were in. Um, she's the co-host of Hey USA, which I'm in love with. Um, I think that she is such a well-rounded person. She's creative, and she's the kind of person that I aspire to be like through doing these videos and through my normal life of just writing and uh, and coming up with new ideas and making films and ugh, I just she is literally one of the most inspirational people to me because she's amazing <laughs> number seven is Elle King uh, Elle King is somebody I only just discovered um, she's an artist I found her on Spotify well one of my friends was listening to one of her songs and I was like what is this because this is awesome I was gonna say amazing then. Searched her on Spotify and I listened to all of her songs and she's just so cool and like her music is brilliant. It's very, uh, I don't know, I'll play a little clip like here. Number eight is Spotify. Okay, Spotify um, has completely replaced iTunes on my computer. I've deleted every single song off of my iTunes. Um, and now I listen to Spotify on my phone. I don't really listen to music that much when I'm out at the moment. I listen to it a lot when I'm at home, or like when I'm working. Um, this is my work space. So yeah, I make playlists for uh, my scripts. I make playlists for parties. I have a gym playlist. I have a sleep playlist. I have a freshers playlist. I have a love playlist. I have a funeral playlist. Don't get me started on my funeral playlist. The funeral playlist is what people ask me about the most, probably, because um, I have a collection of songs which I would like to be played at my funeral. So that if I die, um, somebody can just go onto my Spotify and be like, hey, Spotify, I love making my playlists, lists, lists, playlist, list, listography, listography, listography is number nine. Number nine, <laughs> number nine. Listography is my new obsession. Well, it's not my new obsession. I've been doing it ever since I was a little kid. Um, it's just the, the art, it's the art of making lists. Um, like literally, I just made a list for all the things that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Um, uh, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six lists up on my wall. There's things to buy, films to see, places to go, books to read, important things that I've done none of. Uh, except maybe number nine. Oh, um, that sounded really disgusting. It's just admire Georgie every day. I'm scared, just gonna come back and hear what they've gotten. Music listography, film listography, my future listography, listography journal, travel listography, literary listography. I was gonna buy parenthood listography, but then I realized I'm not gonna have any need for that because I'm not a parent. So I am like obsessed with making lists. It clears my head, it, it organizes my life, even though straight after I finish writing a list, I just stick it on my wall and then I just forget about it. 10. Number 10 is I am obsessed with going home this weekend. Um, it's been, I've been here for about three, four weeks now at uni. Um, I miss my mom, I miss my sister, I miss my dad, uh, I miss my grandparents, uh, I miss my friends. I kind of just want to go home just for a weekend, chill out, see everyone. Um, I do have quite a uh, horrible thing that I'm gonna have to experience when I go home, which is that um, my dog passed away uh, last week. It's gonna be the first time that I'm, we're all at home without her there. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous about being at home without her there because I feel like it's gonna make me very emotional. I mean, I've been emotional while I've been here, but it's a little bit more difficult to be emotional because while I'm here, I don't have any of them. So f it's not as bad. Whereas when I'm at home, I'm used to having her around me, so it's gonna be harder. Um, so yeah, um, that was kind of a deep ending, I understand. Um, I hope you liked our theme of 10 things this week. Um, 
I think it's Louise's turn to come up with a theme for next week. I'll see you later. Bye.